Hello, friends. Uh, first of all, I'm going to let you know right off, I need very much to clean my desk. It is horrendous. I won't show you the whole desk. You can already tell, though, that it is in a state of disarray. But before I take the time to clean it, because it does take time, I wanted to do my flip through. I started this book the end of November, which I got to tell you, when I do those 12 by 12 mega albums that I used to do, it could take me an entire year to do a book. Um, and a book consists of about 25 well, so it's like 50 layouts, and I'm pretty sure I have more than 50 layouts in here. They're smaller layouts, so they don't take as much time, which I love. There's also more storytelling in here, which I don't do as much in the 12 by 12, which I love. Um, and then I, I find it really sweet to have some of the, the little golden book pages in there. So, so I'm just going to show you the outside of the book. I haven't... I haven't put a button on it or anything. It actually holds, it doesn't alligator too bad. It holds together pretty well. Um, we already, I did the tag. The dangle, you saw that. Um, and you, not every page in here was something that I did on, on film. So it's not really film, digital. You know what I mean, okay. Anyway, oh, did I forget to introduce myself? My name is Wendy. I am a scrapbooker primarily, but I'm loving this little golden books journal size for a couple of reasons um, I just mentioned. Anyway, I thought I would do this flip through. Um, I'm probably gonna do two flip throughs, one with a little bit of, of going through a bit and the other one with just a fast music only one. So. One thing that I learned from this, though, is I mentioned that the the spine is a little weak. It's the same thickness and everything of my other ones. I think the reason it's a little weak is that it's a half an inch bigger. I could have gone smaller, and you can see right here, I could have gone smaller. So in the future, um, my spine size will be two and a half inches. Anyway, so we started out, this is a vacation that we took. And I'll just tell you the flips. So this flip is one where it goes on the inside. I have a little booklet with our little itinerary for a couple of days. Picture of my beloved Hedwig, who is quite the interesting cat. She doesn't know she's a cat. She thinks she's a human. Or she thinks we're the same species. How about that? And this is something I haven't really done much. Um, and I may do it some more. But so this one. So here is the binding of it. Here's the binding of that other one. And then this one, not only does it flip out here. But I stitched like a little booklet here. And these are from Noted. And then flip open. This flips up. Here's some more of our trip. And then these, what I did is the paper that I was using, the Christmas paper, was not uh, 12 by 12. And so this is how I got an 8 by 12 page, just by adding that. Here's the other part of that one, or another one. So quite a few of these are like that. I really like how that turned out. I like the way that looks. So this was a, had a, a sketch to it, and I really enjoyed it. Once I started doing some sketches, I realized that I, I enjoy that in my junk journal. So this, so this is some of the little golden book pages. This was called a wedding cake card. So there's multiple layers is the thing. And here's the next layer. And then here's the next layer. And I like this because I've got like a page where I can just do some decorating and then my photo. 
which I found fun. And this one I just cut out photos and put it on there. I did this one on a video. Okay, so this one flips in and then you pull it out. See. But it also flips out this way. And on this one, because I wanted this to kind of blend, I took this color and then I went a little darker and then I went a little darker until I kind of matched the color of the sky. And this was another scrapbook layout. And I like it better when I do it on a fold out than when I do it like this. This was, um, you use paint and you stamp with the paint and then you ink over it and it kind of brings this out. I, I really love the way that looks. The reason the Viva Navidad pictures are separated is because the one um, signature just got so big and so fat. I thought, you know what, I can't. I have to separate these. I, I can't stitch it like that. And this is something, I know I did this with Disney stuff, but if you have pictures that your kids have drawn, this would be such a wonderful thing, you know, a way to display their photos in a book, their, um, their drawings. And sometimes we make mistakes. And once this was glued down, it was like, I am not tearing this thing apart. So if the picture is too long, you just add a little bit. And then this opens. So we have that. And then I did this in a video. I really, that, that was fun. That was definitely um, stepping out of my comfort zone, but I enjoyed it. So this, even though I did a page protector over all of it, I just cut a little bit of that so that I could, oh, see, I've got that under that leaf there. There we go. So then we can read the little, little note. And then that's the end of my trip. And this, I just stamped a whole bunch of travel stamps on a white piece of paper and inked it and had fun doing it. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it gives you some ideas for uh, scrapbooking and junk journaling that you have in the future. And um, if you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up, hit that notification bell, and, this, and subscribe <laughs> if you haven't already. And have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.